Well, it's Wednesday, March 25th, and I want to invite you to listen today to Psalm 25. Just quiet your heart and let God speak to you. In you, Lord my God, I put my trust. I trust in you. Do not let me be put to shame, nor let my enemies triumph over me. No one who hopes in you will ever be put to shame, but shame will come on those who are treacherous without cause. Show me your ways, Lord. Teach me your paths. Guide me in your truth and teach me. For you are God, my Savior. And my hope is in you all day long. I love the way it finishes. My hope is in you all day long. I want to encourage you in these days to put your trust in God all day long, no matter what. Things are hitting our country right now. Things are hitting our world right now. Things are affecting our economy right now that are scary, that are challenging. For many of you, you're feeling the economic implications already. And yet within all of that, we can say, God, you are my savior and my hope is in you all day long. I want to pray with you and pray for you that you would experience the hope that God wants to bring to you. God, this is our prayer today, that we would walk in your hope all day long. Even when times are crazy, when things are uncertain, we can put our hope in you. Surround us with your presence. Wrap your arms around each one of us. Fill us with the power that only you can give us. And bring us hope all day long, no matter what we face or see or experience. Because our hope is in you, and God, you are on the throne. You have all the power and the glory. So we put our trust in you, and we walk in your hope and we lock, walk in your power, and we pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, today, uh, Pastor Sean is going to share a few things. Pastor Sean is the Chief of Staff here at Shoreline, and so he's got some great words to share with you, so pay attention to this, and then we'll see you again on Friday morning. Hello, Shoreline Church. It's Wednesday, March 25th, and as part of this week's update, I really just want to extend to you three invitations. The first invitation is that you would remain fervent in prayer, and one of the ways we want to help you do that is by offering you some prayer direction each week as part of our weekly update that comes to you on Wednesdays. And what you'll find in that prayer direction is that we're asking for you to pray specifically for our world. We're asking for you to pray for our nation. We're asking for you to pray for our community, pray for our Shoreline Church, pray for our families, and of course, pray for ourselves. So we're gonna invite you to be part of that process and you'll find that prayer direction in your update that you received earlier today. And also, we're going to encourage you, Shoreline, to continue to stay connected. That's my second invitation. Stay connected, Shoreline. Uh, we know that we can't gather physically, but through the power and the use of technology, we can gather as one church body. And what you'll find, especially if you go to the Shoreline website today, you'll find some expanded opportunities for you to be able to stay connected to the body here at Shoreline Church. So that's, whether that's through a men's Bible study or a woman's Bible study, those are just examples of ways that you can connect to grow spiritually through technology and these online experiences offered by Shoreline Church. And I'm really excited because yesterday we had 25 men who participated in four different Bible studies throughout the day, and they actually found great joy in coming together, studying God's Word online and experience just the profound sense of community that even the digital world can bring. So Shoreline Church, stay connected. And finally, the third invitation is that you would remember to share. And one of the things we're gonna ask you to share is we're gonna provide for you tomorrow, you'll see an email. And in that email from Shoreline Church, there will be some links. Those links will be links to, to send forward to people that will provide them the link to our live stream that comes out this Sunday as Pastor Kevin wraps up the third message in the series of Pathway to Peace. The links will also provide people with access to the past two messages that Pastor Kevin has shared over the past two Sundays. And those messages have been just so powerful and so profound to remind us that we can have peace, the peace of Jesus Christ, even in the most anxious and stressful times. And so Shoreline Church, that's my update for this week to remember to be fervent in prayer, to stay connected, and to remember to share. God bless you and have a great week.